But yeah, so this is day five of the uh, 24 day extravaganza of physics questions. And today we are looking at a photoelectric effect. So when I see things like this, when it says the show, so the figure one shows a photo cell that uses the photoelectric effect. The minute you get an indication of what the exam question is, or the topic is, definitely write the formula down. So for the photoelectric effect, of course, we're going to be using E equals HF, and I'm going to be using HF equals the work function plus um, the kinetic energy. Okay, so it says here, electromagnetic radiation, EM radiation is incident on the photoemissive surface. That means it's being shot onto the, uh, uh, the surface. Explain why there is a current only if the frequency of the EM radiation is above a certain value. So if you're, of course, saying explain questions, you should be using things like this happens because. So what there is a current only of the frequency because, OK, the photons um, have the energy. OK. And of course, it, the energy must be greater than the work function this means current the energy must be greater than the work function to liberate electrons sorry i was thinking about something right there. liberate electrons OK, this means current only flows when the photon has enough energy. OK, so another thing you could, of course, write is photons have energy based on their frequency. So you can be a little bit more specific and actually say E equals HF, okay? The energy must be greater than the work function to liberate electrons. This means current only flows when the photon has enough energy. So you can check this in the answers here. So mentioning that the energy of the photon is greater than the work function, so electrons are emitted, as you can see here. Photons have energy, must be uh, greater than the work function to liberate and talking about the electron flow there. OK, so again, this explain this happens because the photons have energy based on their frequency. The energy must be greater than the work function to liberate elections. This means current only flows when the photon has enough energy. OK. So here's another question. State and explain. So state and explain the effect on the current when the intensity of the EM radiation is increased. So state and explain. So state says you need to tell me the effect, increase, decrease, up, down, left, right, whatever, and then explain why. So it goes up because, it goes down because, that's what you're saying here. So it's two marks, we're saying two things. So state the effect of the current when the intensity of the EM radiation is increased. Okay, so stating the current would increase. So the current increases because one photon equals one electron liberated. So more intense light has more photons. OK, having a look at the mark scheme down here. So increased intensity means more photons emitted. Um, so increased intensity means more photons there are, which means the current is greater or more electrons are emitted per second. So what I've said here is, let's get to the question. I've said the current increases, which is one of the marks. So the current goes up. And I've said why, because one photon, there's more, there are more photons there. Okay. So state and explain. Stating, you're saying up, down, left, right, something like that. And then because you said explain, this goes up or down, left, right, whatever, because, and that's what you're doing here. Okay. So 
A student investigates the properties of a photo cell. The student uses a source of EM radiation with a fixed frequency and observes that there is a current in the, in the external circuit. Then they, vary, they connect a variable voltage supply to the positive terminals connected to the electrode with the photo emitter surface. As the student increases the supply voltage, the current decreases and eventually becomes zero. The minimum uh, voltage happens is called stopping potential. So what actually happens is the photons come in and they liberate an electron. Okay, so an electron would emit here. And what's actually happening is it will have some energy. When you're putting a voltage across it, what's happening is you're putting an electric field that kind of attracts it back. So if you can imagine here, I've got a negative and a positive. So you can see the terminal here, negative and the positive. And normally an electron will want to be attracted to the positive, but I've given it some kinetic energy. So it's actually trying to leave the positive thing. If this field, the electric field, between these two plates becomes much stronger, okay, this is why the electron gets drawn back and doesn't actually flow through the circuit. If the, if the electron is able to make it to the other side and the other plate, it will flow around the circuit, okay? So, first question, the photoemissive circuit has a work function of 2.1 electron volts, and the EM radiation has this frequency. What is the maximum kinetic energy in joules? So if you ever see electron volts, the first thing you should do is that you should convert it into joules. So to go from electron volts to joules, you need to times it by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. So that's the work function is 2.1 times 10 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. So 2.1 times 1.6 times 2.1 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 is 3.36 times 10 to the minus 19, okay? And then I need to work out this energy of the photon, so E equals HF, so that's 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34, times by the frequency of the wave, so that's 7.23 times 10 to the 14. So initially when I identified all these photoelectric effect equations at the top, I've got those in my data sheet, I'm literally just using them uh, here. So I've got 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 times by 7.23 times 10 to the 14. I get an answer of 4.79 times 10 to the minus 19. So the photon is coming in with this amount of energy. So 4.79 times 10 to the minus 19. And that's going to be, I need some energy to get it out. So that's the work function plus the kinetic energy here. OK, so what's actually happening? Work function is kind of like a friction. It's taking away the energy. The photon's coming in with some energy. Some of it's wasted getting out of the material, which is the work function. And whatever's left is the kinetic energy. So I'm going to this number here, take away this number here. And I get an answer of 1.43 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. OK. Having a look at the answer here. So what we've got here is use using uh, the work function, actually converting it. So normally when you get electron volts, there is normally a mark for conversion. So if in doubt, have a convert on there. One mark for, of course, um, working out the photon uh, thing here and putting it to the formula and one mark for the answer. So I would got one mark for the conversion, one mark for utilizing sort of this idea here. And we'll mark the answer there. Okay. Use your answer from part C to calculate the stopping potential. So potential for the photoemissive surface. So I am putting an electric field. So I need electric potential. And this is the energy divided by the charge of the thing affected by the field. So in this case, I know the energy that I, the electric field needs to remove. So the electric field is trying to pull it back with so many joules. So this, you can imagine the electrons firing off at 100 joules. I need to put an electric field across it that pulls it back with 100 joules. Okay. So currently it's running away with that much energy. I need to find out a potential that gives my electron that much energy. 
So of course, I've got my 1.43 times 10 to the minus 19 over the thing that's affected by the field. In this case, it's an electron. So it's the charge here. And the answer is I've got 0 0.9 volts there. So looking at the mark scheme here, they're allowing a range between 0 0.7 and 0 0.9, okay? Because they are specifically, it depends on where you rounded and things. So there's one mark for using the formula and one mark for your answer, okay? So, oh, I lie, there's only one mark for the answer. Okay, that was my fault there. So there's only one mark for the answer of 0 0.9. The student increases the frequency of the EM radiation. Explain the effect that this has on the stopping potential. So normally, sometimes they will say state and explain, but that's kind of what they want you to do here, to explain what effect it has on the stopping potential. So you better explain what effect that would have. So... I am increasing my frequency, which of course would increase my en the energy the photons would have. This means the photons will have more kinetic energy, so I'm going to need more potential. So the effect on the stopping potential goes, you need to increase the stopping potential, okay? So again, it's three marks. I'm going to say three things. So you increase the stopping potential because the photon has more energy because of E equals HF, which means the electron has more energy. So the potential needed to stop it increases. So this explain, again, I'm saying explain and the effect. So I better say what the effect of all. So most of the time with three mark questions, if they are telling you um, to explain something. They normally want you to state something first. So in this case, the stopping potential would increase because the photon has more energy because of E equals HF, which means the electron has more energy, so the, stopping, the potential needed to stop it increases. You can look at the mark scheme here. The stopping potential would be greater. So there's a stating statement here because the photons would be greater, so the kinetic energy of the electrons would be uh, greater there. So there we go. My stopping potential is bigger because the photons have more energy because the electrons have more energy there. Okay. So again, this explain thing, I look at the marks, three marks, and I go, okay, three mark question there and go, okay, explain. I'm going to state something that's happening and I'm going to say the word because. That's the thing you should be saying in the explanation. This is happening because. And then you give the explanation of what's happening there. Okay. So there we have it. Um, that is day five of the 24-day extravaganza.